So we're going to start this project with a lot of room and some saran wrap. I'm essentially going to place the saran wrap around the top of my thigh and I'm going to make my way around a couple of layers. And I'm standing up because I want to make sure that I get it around my waist just so that the saran wrap doesn't drop down. So once I go around my waist once, I move back down towards my thigh. I'm going to keep moving all the way down my leg to my heel and then we're going to make sure that everything is smoothed out before we move on to our next step. So we'll be back. So now I'm coming back up with my saran wrap back up my leg just to continue that barrier before we move on to the next step and I'm just ripping it off and now we're going to move on to our next step which encompasses using duct tape. Now like the saran wrap we're going to be going around the top of my thigh with our duct tape and we're just going to be making our way down my leg towards my heel and you want to make sure you're not wrapping this too tight so it cuts off circulation so just kind of place it but you want to make sure you're covering the entire surface and you're going to make your way all the way down and then we're going to cover the heel so now that i've covered my entire left leg we're going to cut off the saran wrap and then I'm going to kind of gather that uh, just to make sure it's not wrapped around my waist anymore. And we're going to make sure that we can actually get this cast, duct tape cast of my leg off of my foot. So I'm going to be taking some scissors and I'm actually going to be cutting up the side of my cast. And then we are going to carefully remove it. So to remove it, we are going to start from the top of my thigh and we're gonna kind of slide it down gradually. And then you can always cut more on the sides as needed, but don't try to go up too far, moving and shuffling it down until I am able to completely slide it off of my heel without having to rip it further. And now that I've been able to remove it, we are going to get ready for our next step. So we're gonna take our silver duct tape and we are going to repair the tear and just like go over it horizontally. And then from there, we are gonna start filling the leg up with stuffing and pool noodles. I found it really helpful using a pool noodle first as I was trying to make that repair just to help create that barrier and made it a lot easier to apply the duct tape. So there really isn't an exact science to this, but we wanna make sure that we're filling this out, like I said, and I wanna make sure that I'm using um, a pool noodle to try and give it some structure. I got these pool noodles from the Dollar Tree and I cut them in half just because I'm going to be kind of layering them together just to fill out the shin and calf part of the leg and then giving it more structure towards the upper thigh. Um, so we're also gonna be using pillow batting. So you can use this, you can buy it on Amazon or you could just take a pillow from your house and pull the stuffing out of it like I did. And then you can start to kind of uh, place the batting in and around where you put the pool noodles. So. This is not an exact science. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of trial and error. So be patient with yourself and just kind of take your time with this step just because you wanna make sure that you do it right. And this may look a little different for everybody depending on what supplies you have available to you. You can also experiment with putting a like wood dowel or a broomstick or something in the center as well to help build that structure. So I wanna encourage you to be creative and try working with something that you have around your house. So now that my leg is fully stuffed with batting and pool noodles, we are going to be taking our next supply, which is going to be our Dollar Tree orange duct tape uh, to add to this. And I'm just gonna be taking my duct tape in smaller strips than I did when I made the cast of my leg. And I'm just gonna be covering all of the silver. So we're just gonna be going over it nice and even, horizontally up and down the entire leg. And there's a reason why I chose orange. We'll get to that in just a moment. But now that my leg is covered in orange duct tape and it's completely stuffed, we are going to be moving on to the next step, which is actually putting on a witch's sock to the leg and we are going to slide this over the leg all the way up and then we are going to be applying a shoe now with this step of applying a shoe 
For this part, you're probably going to want to either go to a thrift store to get some old boots or if you have some that you feel comfortable using for this project that will be outside for an extended period of time, then you are free to use that as well. But depending on what you want to spend budget-wise, um, this could be as uh, cheap as you'd like it to be just by using things you already have. Um, but I'm really, really happy with how this leg turned out. And now I need to do the other one. So we're going to do this on the other side as well. And then we're going to be back for the finished product. I hope you feel inspired to try this witch leg Halloween project. It's perfect for outdoors. You could put it in a bush or in an urn. For this project, you're going to need a witch hat, a pumpkin pail, a broom handle, a pool noodle and some gaffers tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the handle hook from the top so it's empty. Next I'm going to place it into the grass and I'm going to use my rubber mallet to pound it down into the ground. I've got a pool noodle which I'm going to remove the sticker from. Next I've got some gaffers tape and I'm going to start by sticking it to the noodle and then I'm just going to keep winding it around the noodle, spiraling it down, kind of like a candy cane. And you could easily use duct tape for this if you'd rather. Now that I've got my pool noodle ready, I'm just going to slide it on to the broom handle like so. Next, I'm going to take my cool glue gun and load up a bunch of hot glue onto it's important to use a cool glue gun so that it doesn't melt your pool noodle. Next, I'm gonna take a pumpkin pail and I'm gonna center it up and place it onto the glue. Next, I've got some orange Halloween lights. I'm gonna place some of them in the top of the Halloween pail. And next, I'm going to take and wind these lights around the pool noodle to the ground. Right underneath here I'm going to place a little dab of hot glue and I've got a little bow to add underneath. Now you could make your own bow if you'd prefer but I just wanted to give my pumpkin a little extra something. I'm going to add a little hot glue to the top and then lastly I'm going to take this witch hat and place it onto the pumpkin pail. And I hope this inspires you to create a light up pole for Halloween at your home. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Tuck, and I'll see you next time.